Oh my goodness. Oh, he's a good one too, he's a good one. Yes, we got one. This is ridiculous. Oh, well done, Carl. <laughs> well, here we are, sat in the van, and it's the beginning right now of another exciting adventure. This time, we're heading out to where, Alex? Folkestone. And why are we going to Folkestone, Alex? To get a train. Because we're going to France, and it's a work project, we are going to be cameramen for the week, and we're going to be filming with a top carp angler, Steve Briggs. Right there, fella. Oh, perfect, right next to the lake. The lake's big. It is really big. We made it. We made it. We've just arrived. The drive was about four hours or so. Whilst we're here, we'll show you what we get up to and also share with you some of the fishing that we've done lately that hasn't quite made it into our main videos. We'll see how the week goes. Alex has got bread in his hand. Yeah. Can only mean one thing. We're not fishing for pike. Amazing. It kind of feels like we're driving down somewhere private a little bit. So basically, we have permission to be here, but not written permission. <laughs> this is so sketchy. Harry might not even know the woman. Shout me if you get something. Oh my god. I don't know if he's a koi. That looked like a koi, Alex. <laughs> that looked like a koi to me. That looked like. No. Oh, I thought, it was a koi. Koi. I thought it was a koi. <laughs> I thought that was a koi. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at him. Nailed. There you go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh no, that, 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 that wasn't so successful as I hoped it would. Oh no, my trousers are wet. Okay, for those of you who are about to moan, I don't want to release this fish into the weed or else it gets stuck and it won't be able to swim out, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of a head start. Guarantee I'll get a bad comment about that, guarantee. And I've got wet, <coughs> wet wellies. Woohoo! Chucked out some bread in two or three areas. I still put a small piece of sinking bread on the hook just in case I spot something as I walk around. You never know when one's just going to cruise past or swim out of these reeds. Well, I've stood around here for ages and seen nothing. Well, they keep walking around, but it's only a small pond. I'll be back where I started in no time. Alex is over there. Funny little pond, isn't it? Oh yeah, I see. Finally, I've got myself a bite. Oh no, it's got me weeded. Yeah, that is beautiful. Look at him, he's so pretty, look at it. Those scales down the middle are a joke. Look at that. Back at the French estate lake, Alex and I were cracking on with some filming. The delightful weather making inspiration easy. Although, just a week or two beforehand, the UK was hit with a cold front and some heavy snowfall. I've just dressed up nice and warm. There's quite a lot of snow outside and I'd quite like to use this opportunity to try and catch a carp in the snow. It's not something I've done before. We've managed to catch chub from the river when it's been like this, but never before a carp, so here goes nothing. I was going to head to an urban canal where Alex had caught this immaculate fully scale just a week before. Well, the sun's come out now as well, which is nice. Probably won't make the fishing very easy though. Oh, oh it went in my mouth. Hmm, that's not so nice. I'm bring that net. Bring the big net. I'm feeling confident. Well, 
as confident as you could be when it's minus four and snow everywhere. I read online last week when this snow was all due that apparently it's illegal to drive on the road with snow on the roof of your car because it can fall off and land on the car behind you. So I'm gonna make a conscious effort to, oh my goodness, wow. There is so much snow on the roof of this car. I don't think I'm just not even gonna all come off. I think that'll probably have to do. Oh. Well, my dad's finishing off polishing all the snow off the, off the roof. I'll see you later. I won't, I won't be gone long. Nope, don't you throw that in. Now, I don't know what's gonna be more of a challenge today. Arriving at the canal alive or coming back having caught a carp. Oh my goodness, that's slippery. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Wow, it's, it's beautiful. It really is. It's quite special actually in England when it snows. Whoa, this is, this is dodgy. Mate, I was, that's, this is scary as hell. I was slipping around then. We made it! In one piece. We're at the canal. Doesn't look like it's frozen over, and it tends not to freeze over until it's very, very cold because this canal is spring fed, so the water bubbles up from in the ground where it's like four degrees all year round. But things are looking good. I'm gonna get down there, cast out, and um, <laughs> see if I can catch something in this ridiculous great British weather. Hello there. <laughs> Sorry, my stuff's in the way. Oh, oh. Have fun. Oh. oh, my hands are already freezing. Oh, let's do this. I'll get a little handful of trout pellet down there. See if we can draw a few fish into the area. This is the spot which I fished a couple of days ago and it was really good. Right, let's get a rod tied up. The rig is prepared, inline lead, wrapped it in snow for camouflage. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Um, and a little pink pop up, pallets by shot. A little handful of pellet over the top, and I would like to think that's going to give me the best chance of getting a bite today. So let's get it in the water. You okay, sir? Did you fall over? Yeah. Is it bad? Um, no, it's not too bad. Yeah? I don't know how I'm going to get up. Do you want a hand? Yeah, oh. please. Let me put that fish in right there. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Oh. You sure? Yeah. Well, I just... haven't banged my head, which is the most yeah, that's important good. thing. Yeah, yeah. You alright? Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Thank but you. It's that slope there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's why I grabbed hold of it, but it didn't make. Much Got difference. Days and it didn't make any difference. Well, I'm not coming back this way again. No, yeah. Okay, oh, thank you so much. You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Yeah, hope to catch you too. <laughs> thank you. It's still snowing, the rods are now out, and uh, there is a chance of a bite. I haven't really seen very many fish up this end of the lake. There's a few down by the islands down there, but um, I'm confident in this spot where I'm fishing now because I did catch a few from it quite recently. It's quite a reliable spot because it's quite deep at least a little bit deeper than most of the rest of this canal. Wow, this is kicking off down here. Yes, it's tangled me up in a stick this one. But even still, he's a beautiful little carp. Absolutely immaculate little fish, this one. Spotless. And what a background to catch him in. Wee.
There we go. There's the bite I was after. That was so cool. I was watching them come down and feed next to the spot. For this place, this is quite a big fish. I always prefer to take my catch photos on a self timer, but since a passerby showed an interest, I handed over my phone for a quick photo. He's coming. Yeah. Oh, he's good, he's beautiful. The colours are so Oh much my god. Better. When the water is clear like this, the colours are just amazing. <sighs> Do you still want to hold him? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Oh man, I got it. I'm going to take your phone. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Well done. <laughs> well, I just found a lovely passerby who is holding my carp. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> nice one, isn't it? Look at this big old mouth. Alright, well. I don't really know, it's hard It's hard to tell. But yeah, we'll put him back in the water then. <laughs> I didn't really expect to be doing, holding a fish when you went for a walk today. Two weeks passed and the snow melted away. My new friend's interest in fishing hadn't faded though, and one cloudy day I found myself guiding a new angler to their first ever catch. Go on Naomi, that is a bite. Go! You've got it! No way. All by myself. It's your first one caught independently. Cast, set and landing. Thanks, Carl. Oh my God. Not content with just one bite, I couldn't resist the cast myself, hooking into a fish of unexpected proportions. Push it right down and underneath him. Yeah, now lift. Naomi, put it there. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Not bad. You're bad. You're shaking. That is an absolute <laughs> giant. Well done, Carl. <laughs> Carl and I are currently two days into the shoot, and Steve has already got off to a great start. He's already caught a few nice carp. Uh, but for the next three or four days, we're going to be still here at this lake filming, uh, trying to finish the piece. So whilst we get on with our filming, you can check out some of the exciting footage that we've shot over the past few months. It's not how it works. <laughs> no, I don't actually know how to use a camera. A rainy day fishing Rutland water for Xander brought our friends first of the species, but not really much else. The next time I hit the bank was a visit to a shallow chalk stream in search of some action in the cold. Uh oh, this can see this going really badly. Oh, is this a good idea or not? Probably not. Oh 
No, I didn't jump far enough. No. I'm gonna have to tip out a load of water from my welly now. What, why didn't I expect that to happen? Oh. Now that's just wonderful. That is horrific. This number one. Don't try and jump across the river. Oh there. Yeah, the river's a bit deeper than it looks. <laughs> you bend on our way. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, that's a good, you got spare socks here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to put this thing back on because it's just disgusting. That was a big mistake. All because I wanted a shortcut. Well, it looks like we've just got the session off to a brilliant start. Falling in a little stream, which turned out to be not so little. It's actually quite deep and both of my feet are soaked. So I'm going to get to it nice and quick. Try and get some action. Float fishing for all sorts of silver, silver fish. All sorts of silver fish species. Because that was a fish just jump out. And again, they're jumping out in my swim. I think this could be a good day. Despite getting soaking wet and freezing cold after about five minutes. Oh, would you look at that? A proper net full of quality days. I think I've probably had 30 or 40 in this spot. Not didn't put all of them in the net because some of them were quite small, but that's a selection of some of the best ones. Time to move spots and to um, try and find some other species because all I caught in this spot were um, the days. Time to head off down there or, or maybe up there. I don't really know yet. So before I get started in this new spot, I'm going to eat my lunch. But before I even eat my lunch, okay, I know I've just started, but before I eat the rest of my lunch, I'll just explain to you roughly what I'm doing today. I'm actually fishing on the River Allen, spelled A-L-L-E-N, I think. And what the Allen is, is it's a chalk stream, so the water that is in this river has filtered through chalk beds, making it really clear, making it really clean, good quality water for fish to live in. And as you can probably see by today, that the, this river is so full of fish, it's, it's unbelievable. Any of the lakes or rivers close to where we live in Sussex, which is more east of here, tend to be quite murky, they tend to be quite muddy, often polluted, just not very healthy sort of ecosystems for fish to live in. However, when you come down along the south coast heading west, you come through Hampshire and you find rivers like this, chalk streams which are absolutely loaded with fish. Species like dace, roach, perch and chub and stuff love these sorts of watercourses as well as of course grayling and trout. <laughs> yeah. It's not actually trout that I'm going to try and catch today because they're in fact out of season. You're not really allowed to fish them I don't think at the moment. Um, I probably will catch the odd one here and there but that's kind of unavoidable. What I'm really hoping to catch is grayling, of course the dace that I've caught already and maybe if I'm lucky a roach or a chub. So it's time to dip into oh, my rather feminine bag, which has got my lunch in it, and have a month. What have we got? Well, there's obviously grapes, they're healthy. Apple, pretty healthy. Crisps, mm, maybe not so healthy. Oh, and we're already on a slippery slope now. Strawberry pencils. Mm. Let's go. Let's get fishing again. Ooh, it's got an email. Work. Boring. Let's see what we can do in this new spot. First cast, what's gonna happen? Probably nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had a snag. It's gonna be a trout though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a trout. Calm down, please. Don't hit my camera. What a pale looking, wild brown trout. There we go. First grayling of the day. Oh, pretty lively. Off you go. 
fished a few more locations with nothing to show for my efforts before returning to the swim I started the day in. A decent net full of days were caught and I met another new friend who offered to film for me. He's a trained professional. You were, you were a cameraman yes. in your previous job, right? Yeah. My, cam this. my camera's in good hands. Let's have a look at what we've caught. <laughs> look at that. Oh, there's one grayling in there that kind of jumped in by accident. How long have I been in this spot, do you think? Uh, uh, half an hour. Yeah, Tops. half an hour of just catching a date on every single cast. Mental. And uh, yeah, thanks for filming for me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I want to find the really nice... I swear there was one that was considerably bigger. That is my best one of the day, I think. I packed up and drove home, heat on full blast in the van, trying to warm up my very wet feet. It was soon the Five Lakes Carp Show in Essex, where Alex certainly had carp on his mind. We get one too. Hi guys. Hi. Where are you sneaking off to, Alex? We're supposed to be working here at um, Five Lakes Carp Fishing Show, and Alex has just disappeared off. I think he may have found some fish. Well, I'm not saying the show's getting boring, but it's definitely time to sneak out for a very short amount of time and try to catch a carp. Alex is leading the way. We've got a few boys who are escaping the show temporarily. We'll be back in a minute, but um, it's time to try and catch a carp. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Back to behind it. We want brace shots. He's not bending straight, look at him. He's I literally hooked it and then the other one started following it. <laughs> yes. That was good fun. Very good fun indeed. <laughs> You've even got water on your face. I know. I'm soaked. <laughs> oh. Oh. Back to it. Job done. Last but by far not least, we have footage from a session with our boss Alan and his two friends, James and Ollie. Today we have come to deepest, darkest Yorkshire to fish on the River Swale for Big Barble. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, Yorkshire. <laughs> They'll believe that. If you get the bright, you might, you probably will see it. There's a bright orange koi. Really? Um, and you literally oh my orange. god! You just keep your eyes out. Yeah. And it's probably only been about six, ten months. I've known about the Wandle properly. Heard little bits. You mean you mean the swale, the river swale? <laughs> the river swale in Yorkshire. in Yorkshire. You can tell we're in Yorkshire. There's a lot of people with Yorkshire accents. No, we are. We're on the River Wandle, um, right in the middle of. London really and Alex has dropped into this first swim we've looked off this bridge and immediately saw a bright orange koi a lot of rain last night so the clarity isn't brilliant so goodness knows what else is down there there could be barbel there could be chub there could be other car yeah super excited yeah. keep wandering yeah And you've caught a fair few in, in that in that time. Uh, trout's are eight pound two or something. Eight pound yeah, trout. Eight pound two, yeah. 
about yeah. how big a super caught them to? Like 14, 15, something like that. <laughs> um, well, that's your caught. Big cart. So I've had, my biggest is 14. But I never really fish for them. Uh-oh, things are getting serious over here. This is, this is, oh, oh, oh man. I can feel that for him. Ouch. Oh, you made it. No way, I've got the koi. I've got the koi. Oh, no way. No. Right, I've got to call Carl because he's got the cameras. And I also haven't got a net, no. Come back here. Whoa, that was so nearly cut off. Hello. He's got the koi. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Go on, what happened? Um, I'm, I'm still playing it because I haven't got a net. So You're I'm still just still playing it because he hasn't got a net. I'm just uh, I'm oh, just casually, yeah. you know, just fighting <laughs> a bright orange koi. Alex is just casually fighting a bright orange koi because he doesn't have a net. So Carl, I think we should stop filming and run back up past Sainsbury's. He's got the koi. He's got the coin. Free live He's got bread. the coin. He has not got the coin. Right, uh, can, I, can I take some of his Oh now? my yeah. god. I ought, to, I ought to run, really. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> only, like, literally, only Alex. No way. That's so Honestly, stupid. That coin never gets caught. I've never seen that caught in three years. I've seen it for three years, but I've never seen it get caught. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh shit. Really I'm afraid I just saw it. <laughs> oh my God. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Wow. Orange and white coin. Free line bread tempted this inner city brightly coloured koi. I just could not believe it when this fish turned and grabbed my bread in the fast flow. I wasn't even sure if it was a fish or a rock at first, but yeah, it turned out to be this epic koi from a river in the middle of a city. I'm speechless. This is crazy. Look at it. See ya, mate. Well, the least thing I was expecting today was to catch a carp, but to catch a koi carp, a brightly coloured or orange fish in this river is just not what I was expecting. Hoping for a barbel, but maybe that will come later on today. Wow, that was like two casts, three casts? Two casts in the swim. Unbelievable. First one up there, second one down there. Whack! Absolutely <laughs> whack! On bread. On bread. On bread. Well done. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well yes. done, you. Brilliant. Oh. Wait, so does this mean that this river does actually have The barbell? river has fish in it, other than one koi. Um, it's been... We haven't fished for that long, two and a half hours, two hours, but 
Uh, Ollie's had some lovely roach. I've had no bites, so maybe one little tap. Alex obviously had the koi, and James had a minnow. Um, but he's delivered. Wait. He's done what he said he would do, and that is catch a beautiful barbel on bread. What a nice fish. Well done, James. Oh, thank you. You invited us down today to try and catch a, a barbel from this urban river. Yeah. And you've shown us that they do exist. They do. <laughs> awesome.